Hi, welcome all of you on platform of your PD education. This is the platform where you are getting the updates related to various forms uh, related to higher education, MTech, MS, PhD in India. And we keep on telling you abroad, abroad opportunities also through gate. So uh, this particular video is related to IIT Indore. It has come out with the PhD program. Before I go forward, let me tell you what is there in this video for you. Uh, number one, uh, it is not from BTEC to PhD. Direct PhD option is not there. It is not shown except Visveshwaraya scholarship. Visveshwaraya scholarship is little higher scholarship in which you have to do PhD on a project which is sponsored by industry, something like that. So if you are in BTEC and you want to do direct PhD and want to have higher, uh, you know, scholarship, that is a Visveshwaraya scholarship. That is the option for you. For other categories, normal teaching assistantship you know, which is provided to you that is 31,000 or something from Ministry of HRD that is uh, MTech to PhD. So if you are already having MTech then you need to uh, basically apply for this. So BTech to PhD option is not there. BTech to PhD option is, is under Visveshwaraya scholarship. Many students are getting confused whether IIT Indore is giving scholarship or not. PhD is always with a scholarship program except it is sponsored candidates. So there is a sponsorship candidates also, defense sponsorship if you are already doing teaching somewhere, if you are doing job in industry and you are M-Tech and your industry is ready to sponsor you, that also option is there in this particular thing. So I'm going to discuss all these options for you and uh, what are the last dates and those things we are going to discuss. So this is IIT Indore form, PhD form. So for Indian students, international students, I don't think you are in that category. Majority Indian students, let me make the video. Fellowship awardee means if you have some kind of fellowship uh, uh, from uh, uh, some kind of agencies like CSI, CSIR, etc. Second is teaching assistantship. So majority of you uh, after MTech will fall in this category, teaching assistantship. So GATE is required there. So valid GATE score, last three years GATE qualified score is required. Valid GATE score it is called and you need to have GATE score with you and that is uh, this teaching assistantship category. Ministry of HRD gives you scholarship. For other categories, you know, like uh, uh, self-sponsored, sponsored without institute scholarship. There is a self-sponsored cat categories also. If not self-sponsored, I think it is, uh, you know, R&D or industry sponsored. So some industry is sponsoring you. You will not get scholarship from uh, institute then. Institute staff, if you are already in IIT, working in IIT. Defense forces, if uh, you are personally in defense forces. Uh, college teacher. So if you are permanent employee of some sponsoring college and your university sponsors you. So in these categories gate is not required but for other categories gate is required. So minimum qualification for all these branches is uh, you know MTech. You need to have first class MTech plus valid gate score. These thing is required. So if you keep on going you will understand that. Gate is not compulsory for defense already sponsored etc. So that is there it is required. And uh, rest, I think uh, all is the same thing. There is, uh, yeah, last dates are mentioned here. So last date for each institutes are different. Like electrical engineering, 23rd March is the last date. Mechanical engineering, 20th March is the last date. So the moment you start applying, you get to know whether SOP is required or not. So if you're MTech and you want to apply for PhD, then you need to start applying and see whether there's a uh, uh, statement of purpose requirement or not. Mechanical engineer, 20th March is the last date. I don't know for civil engineer they had kept 5th March. Now don't say that gate result has not come because it is for MTech to PhD. So MTech guys already have last year's uh, gate they can use. So that is what is required. Uh, many students have confusion about valid gate score. Let me tell you valid gate score means you have qualified gate. That's it. It is not that you need to have high gate score or something. It is qualified gate score. So this is how it is uh, done. So similarly for basic sciences, chemistry, physics, mathematics. So basic sciences also it is the same thing for us. So this is how it all goes. And humanities also if you are from economics, psychology, philosophy, English, sociology, history, you need to have GATE score and on the basis of that you can apply in these departments. And GATE score is not compulsory for this. Uh, you know uh, branches. There are certain centers also other than departments there are certain centers also in which you can do your PhD. So uh, Center for Advanced Electronics, uh, Fellowship Awardee, uh, 
sponsored without institute so i don't think there is for this particular uh, uh, center for advanced electronics so institute assistantship is not there so yes for this institute assistantship is not there uh, similarly uh, i think uh, yeah now if i come to vishwesaraya phd scheme for electronics and it then you need to have master's degree or bachelor degree plus uh, valid gate score will be done so either you have master's degree in relevant field or you can have you know uh, bachelor's degree plus valid gate score this is something which you have uh, then you can apply for vishwesaraya uh, scholarship and i think for even vishwesaraya uh, i don't know whether you have uh, this institute assistant vishwesaraya may you have different kind of funding i think so you need to uh, go for this vishwesaraya phd scheme for electronics and it uh, it is electrical engineering and computer science engineering so for these two domain domains you have this particular vishwesaraya phd scheme you need to start applying it to know what kind of uh, you know uh, uh, scholarship you are going to get how much scholarship you are going to get but in my opinion vishwesaraya scholarship is a little more so this is uh, i think the thing and yeah application fees is 100 rupee for indian so you can think of applying it application procedure is uh, you have to go to this site and start filling the form and uh, let me tell you now they have given some details of people whom you can approach if you find any problem in filling the application so i think the rest is a similar kind of thing uh, yeah so fee structure uh, fee is something like this so yeah that is the same uh, you are to see that okay so i think these are all details so uh, try to apply if you are mtech uh, you start applying in this and if you are btech try to explore vishwesaraya scholarship and yes uh, teaching assistantship is provided in all the phds except in some centers which they are not providing so mtech to phd and direct phd vishwesaraya these two options iit in uh, iit indor uh, please start filling this particular form and many more will come so as of now iit has come out with its forms iit gandhinagar has come out with its form iit indore now is the uh, new iit which has come out with its form and uh, we are getting opportunities here so uh, still you get uh, till you get your gate score in 2022 other opportunities other options you can start exploring thank you and start filling this form